Hi, my name is Steve Natale, and I'm the product manager for disconnect switches and operating mechanisms for Schneider Electric. Today I'm going to show you a visual product configurator tool for our disconnect switches. This tool is offered on the Android, the iPad, along with our web-based version. Today we do not have it available on the iPhone. This configurator tool is going to make selecting your products a lot easier than the current offer today that you just select out of our digest or our catalogs. It's going to have simple drop down menus to make selections. The first thing that I want you to ask your customer when they tell you they need a disconnect switch is what is it for? Is it for a panel or is it for a motor? If the answer is their customer needs it for a motor, the answer is a UL508 type device. UL508 is only used for motors. UL98 is used for panels. You may use a UL98 for a motor as well, but your customer's not going to want to because it's a lot more expensive. So let's start. Right now we're going to choose a fusible disconnect switch, UL98. Simply click the plus and it brings you to your next screen. There's different styles of handles available. Today in this selection you see a rotary and a flange style. In the near future, on the next updated version of this tool, you're also going to see a cable mech, which is going to allow you different lengths to use, whether it's 3 foot, 5 foot, 10 foot, 12 foot, or up to 15 feet in length. So keep that in mind for the future. Today we're going to pick the rotary style. What is the current rating for the device? 30 amps all the way up to 800 amps. Here I'll simply use 100 amps. What's our voltage? Let's choose 480. Simply click OK. Now we need to know what kind of handle you like. Would you like a handle that's rated for 1, 3R, or 12 type enclosure? Or do you need a 4, 4X? What color would you like? Black or red and yellow? As you can see in the picture, it updates. Simply click OK. You see the part numbers generated in the upper right hand section will also give you a link. If you click on that link, it's going to take you to our website to see the complete data tool for this device. As you can see in the picture, you see the product that you're going to receive. It's a fusible disconnect switch and a handle. Don't forget, you need a shaft for this product. So let's connect it to and click the plus sign. When you look at your shaft, you need to know what length you want. How deep is your enclosure? You might only need the 12.6 inch. Click OK. Now you have a complete disconnect switch offer in the right hand corner. If you ever want to get rid of a part, or maybe you made a mistake and you need a different shaft, click the minus sign. It's going to remove it from the screen as you see. We'll go back in and we'll add it again. Now we click the 15. Click OK. Do you need any accessories? Is there an auxiliary contact needed? Simply click the plus. Pick which one, normally open or normally closed, and click OK. It will then generate your part number in the right hand side. Now maybe you need another disconnect switch. Let's add an additional part. Simply click plus and click OK. This time we're going to choose a non-fusible disconnect switch, UL98 rated. There's two here. What's the difference? Well the one on the left is the standard offer and the one on the right is a compact solution. Let's use the compact solution. Click the plus. Your first question is going to be, what is the current rating of this device? This offer for a compact style switch is only offered in 30 amp, 60 amp, and 100 amps. Let's pick 60. What is the handle rating needed? Again, 1, 3, R, and 12, or 4, 4, X. What color? Red and yellow. Simply click OK. In this picture, you're going to see four parts under one part number. This compact solution is sold as a kit. This kit contains all four of these parts in the picture. Your switch, your handle, your guide cone, and your shaft. If you need replacement parts, you could go down to the bottom. Maybe you cut your shaft too short. Maybe you need another one. So just click on the plus sign and add it to the device. Let's go and add one more additional part. 
Your customer might tell you that he needs a disconnect switch for one of his motors. Simply click on the 508. In the 508, you're going to have separate components or a switch and a handle together. Whatever you might need. Maybe it's a rear mount on a DIN rail device, or maybe it's a door mount switch. Simply make your choices. Click OK. Again, we're going to use our drop down menus to choose the amperage needed. NEMA rating stays the same because the offer is only NEMA 1 or NEMA 12, and you could change your color. Click on OK, and it adds the part to the top right corner. Now one very nice feature that this tool has is when you're done selecting all of your parts and you might want to send your customer a bill of materials and possibly a price, click on the export PDF. It's going to open up a window that shows you where you want, might want to save that. Rename the file and save it to your desktop or a folder. Now you have it available, you can mail it to as many customers as you might need to. If you want to reset the whole screen and start over for a different customer, simply click reset. Then click Reset All. That concludes our web-based version of the Disconnect Switch app. I hope you find it very useful to make your decisions on selecting our devices. Thank you.